So what's up guys hope you are doing well I'm Mesh from TechMesh and today we are tackling a common issue that many users face which is Windows security not opening on Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you have been experiencing this problem don't worry we have got you covered with step by step troubleshooting guide. Before we dive into the fixes make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you stay up to date with our helpful tech guides. Let's jump right in. So I will show you a couple of steps. So try each of this step and after each step make sure that you restart your computer and check that if your Windows security is working or not. Alright. So the first step is to reset Windows security. So at first just go to settings and after coming to settings here you need to here click on apps at the left hand side and then here you need to click on installed apps. So in your installed app here you need to search for windows security so here you need to click on related settings so just click on system components here and then here you can find this windows security here so just click on this three dot icon and then click on advanced options and in your advanced option here you need to scroll down and here you can see the reset option so here you can see repair so first try to repair it and if the repair didn't work then try to reset windows security okay so the next step is to check if the service center is running so let's move on with our next step so the next step is to go to your services so here just in your windows search search for services so here is the services app just open this services app so in your services app you should search for security center and make sure that it is running so just click on here and then here you can see the service status is running so if it is not running then you should enable it and then hit apply and then hit ok and then you can close this window so the next step is to rebuild all apps so just go to your windows search again and then here you need to type for windows powershell so here just search for windows powershell and then here you need to run it as administrator so just open your windows powershell here and in your windows powershell you need to type these following commands i will also put these commands in the description below so first just copy this command and then let's paste this command here you need to type it exactly as it is so by this command we will get the access all right and then here you should copy this second command so here you can see that this command is about reset package so here you need to paste this command reset app package for all users here you can see this is the command here so here you can see it is saying access is denied because i should have run it as administrator and also if you don't see any error so that means your command ran successfully so here you can see this is the third command so let's copy and paste this command as well so this command might take some time to execute so be patient and wait for a bit for this command to execute and after this command execution then try to restart your computer and check if your problem fixes or not okay so let's move on our next step which is just open your cmd command prompt here you can see this is our command prompt so just right click on here and click on run as administrator so you need to open your command prompt as administrator so these are some commands that we will use in our command prompt so this is the first command so let's copy this first command and let's paste it in our command prompt so here you can see that it is executing so just wait for a bit and be patient so here you can see it is saying the operation completed successfully so here it is saying the component store is repairable so let's copy our second command so this command is about restore health so let's copy this command and now we will paste this command in our command prompt so you need to type this command exactly as it is and then press on enter so now wait for a bit and be patient all right so our second command was also executed and our pc got a restart so now let's open our cmd again and let's paste our third command which is cfc space scan now now your system will start to scan so wait for a bit this process will take some time okay so here you can see that our third command was also executed successfully so if all of these command didn't help you then let's move on with our next step so now just check for win any windows update in this step so here you can see 
just click on this check for update and if you have an update available then make sure to download and install that update so now let's move on with our next step which is create new user account so for that just click on settings and then click on accounts and in your accounts here just click on your info and now the, here is our local account so i would suggest you to follow the video in the i button to know that how you can create a new user account and transfer all of your files to that new user account so let's move on with our last step which is to reset your pc so just go to your settings again and then go to your systems and then click on recovery and then here you can see reset pc so just click on reset pc and click on keep my files so make sure that you have backup of all of your files because all of your applications will be removed so just remember that all of your application will be removed if you reset your pc so if this video worked for you then don't forget to hit the like button and also let me know that in the comment section below that which method worked for you and also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mash from tech mash and i'm signing